Prairie Musicians is made possible by the North Dakota Council on the Arts and by the members of Prairie Public. Hello, my name is Dr. Jason Thomes, and I am the founder and artistic director of Dakota Pro Musica. Dakota Pro Musica is a fully professional choral ensemble and music organization based in Bismarck, North Dakota. And we provide concerts across central North Dakota, from Minot to Fort Yates, from Dickinson to Jamestown, and Mandan in Bismarck. Our ensemble was started in October of 2020, just two months after I moved to North Dakota from the New York City area. I started the ensemble kind of after the example of choirs that you would find in New York, ensembles that would maybe come together for one week of rehearsals before a concert, and that's what we do. We generally just rehearse for one week, and then we give a series of concerts. Dakota Pro Musica has a series of concerts that we give called Building Community Concerts. And those concerts are created to honor, highlight, and enhance the celebrations, commemorations, and cultures in our community. Every year we go through a variety of different repertoires, usually giving four or five different concerts, and try to find ways that we can especially look out for the folks within our community who are maybe underserved or marginalized. And so we try to find a variety of music that lifts people up, our goal is to build community and provide hope. Nundanket Alagot by Pachabel is a motet from the German Baroque era. And you'll hear in this piece the tune of Nundanket Alagot, Now Thank We All Our God, that the sopranos sing at the end as a chorale bass, which fits the German Baroque style of almost always having a hymn or a chorale as part of their motets. Nun danket alle Gott, nun danket alle Gott, der große Dinge tut an allen Enden, der große Dinge tut an allen Enden, tut gute Leibe am Leben, die Gehörten, die Gehörten, die Gehörten, Gut, alles gut, alles gut, 
The second part of Dakota Pro Musica's mission is to provide community outreach program, which we call Raising Voices Programming. And this programming is to help people to not just raise their voices in singing, but maybe help folks find a way that they can express their voice of who they are. And so Dakota Pro Musica looks for a variety of opportunities within our community where we have folks who maybe don't necessarily get the opportunity to hear music live on a regular basis. One of the first places we went and did this was at the North Dakota State Penitentiary where we offered a songwriting workshop to the residents of the penitentiary. We've also gone and done Christmas caroling and we have a variety of other programming that we're looking to bring to the penitentiary. We also are starting a new program where we're gonna train young mothers to sing lullabies and songs to their infants. And our last one that we're currently working on is starting a hospice choir in Bismarck, which will go to people's homes or into hospice centers and provide soft musical experiences for those who are near death or, or in pain or to their family to provide comfort. So our goal with Raising Voices is to find people in our community 
who don't normally get to experience music live and give them that opportunity, but also to maybe help them become part of the music. Lift Mine Eyes from the Oratorio Elijah by Felix Mendelssohn is a trio for more or less three angels. And so our three angels today are Anne Glassman, Heather Ani, and Bernadette Boyle, who you'll hear sing Lift Mine Eyes as we celebrate this beautiful music of the Romantic era. A lot of the members of Dakota Pro Musica may have never been in a professional ensemble before. I've been in professional ensembles across the entire United States. I've been on a number of recordings in the last uh, couple few years that have been Grammy nominated. And so I'm bringing an experience to our singers within the state of North Dakota that really is kind of a unique experience. To become a professional singer, what does it take? Well, it takes a variety of skills. You have to really be able to sight read music well. You have to be able to practice on your own. But I think the thing that stands out in my mind between what a professional does and what a more of an amateur does is the ability to focus and to concentrate in the moment when you have to and to be able to create great art on the spur of the moment. I think that's really the neat part about what a professional choir offers to our community. We are the only fully professional ensemble that I know of in the state, and there is a unique opportunity for folks to be singing together, creating music together, maybe that they've never even sung or heard before. And that's a really neat experience that our, our singers have as professional musicians. Quam Pulcra Est by John Dunstable is one of the most famous pieces of the early Renaissance from England. You'll hear it's a three-part motet with a very different sound, the very different harmonies that you'll normally hear in a piece of tonal music. And it's a piece that represents the Song of Songs from the Bible. And so uh, the translation is a little strange, but it, it's talking about the beauty of someone who has a tall, long neck or has a head like a mountain. And then at the end, we just celebrate that beauty and the wonderfulness of God's creation with an Alleluia. Ooh. 
The roster for Dakota Pro Musica varies for every concert. It depends on what the repertoire of the concert requires. And we might have eight folks in one concert and 12 in another and 24 in another. And so our goal is to create a roster of folks who might be interested in a variety of different styles and have those folks be on call. So when I know that we're doing a, a repertoire that fits certain people's voices, I invite them to be a part of the ensemble. We always have open auditions. Folks can always reach out to Dakota Pro Musica and, and ask for an audition, and we, we set times up for folks to come to Bismarck and, uh, and do some singing for us. But we also love to meet people at our concerts who want to talk about what we're doing or, or find out more about the ensemble. There's always an open door at Dakota Pro Musica to find out more about what we do and how we do it. Benedictamus Domino that we will be singing today is a compilation of a few different pieces of music from the 11th and 12th century in, we call it the Notre Dame school of organum and clausula. You'll hear a Gregorian chant that's sung right at the very beginning. And if you listen carefully, the lower voice will sing that same chant in super long notes as we sing through the piece on two different versions. It's rhythmic, it's exciting, and it's different than maybe you normally hear when you hear Gregorian chant, if you hear that within your church. And then it ends with the whole congregation, or at least the two of the singers, singing together a closing bit of the Gregorian chant. Benedicamus Oh, 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 oh,
One of the questions I get is, why is it important for us to have a professional choir in North Dakota? And I think it's important for us to realize that people have worked for a very long time on the skills they have. Many of the singers in our ensemble are music teachers or, or have degrees in music. And I kind of feel like it's important to pay people for their expertise. This is something that happens in communities all over the country. And one of the things that's amazing about a professional ensemble is the focus and the energy that people get in camaraderie with each other, even when they're being paid a small amount of money. It's really kind of a unique experience to rehearse with your colleagues from many different parts of the state, rehearsal for one week, and then perform together. We have great musicians who come from Minot, from Jamestown, from Fort Yates. We have folks who come from just a variety of places, smaller rural communities, who don't get to normally sing with an ensemble like Dakota Pro Musica. And so we're really happy for our membership that we have to be able to come together from their variety of different locations across central North Dakota. God's Son Has Made Me Free by Edvard Grieg is one of the favorite pieces of folks in the upper Midwest. It's a Norwegian piece that sings about the, the gift of God giving his son to us to free us so that we may live. And so you'll hear the excitement and the joy of this folk song like melody and the boisterous, fun, energized singing. God's son, God's son has made me free. God's son has made me free. From Satan's tyranny, from fear of death and bonds of sin, from all that plagues my soul within, the Holy One Divine became a friend of mine. From heaven high, from starry sky, he came to live, to die. Oh, boundless love, he came, he died, he rose forever glorified. He came to give, to die that I might be. From heaven high, from starry sky, he came to die that I might live, might live with him eternally. God's Son has made me free. God's Son, God's Son has made me free. God's Son has made me free from Satan's tyranny, from fear of death and bonds of sin, from all that plagues my soul within. The Holy One Divine became a friend of mine. From heaven high, from starry sky, he came to live, to die. Oh, boundless love, he came, he died, he rose forever glorified. He came to give, to die that I might live. From heaven high, from starry sky, he came to die that I might live. Might live with him eternally. God's Son has made me free. God's Son has made me free. God's Son.
Musicians is made possible by the North Dakota Council on the Arts and by the members of Prairie Public.